I studied painting, architecture, graphic design, conceptual and video art, and I still don't know much about the avant-garde. This program shows my personal search for the meaning of the avant-garde. I looked into little places. I travel around the country. I look into little walls, baseboards, trying to locate clues of the avant-garde, the unknown, the new discoveries, the adventures of the avant-garde. I ask people what they think about the avant-garde. The avant-garde was the advanced battalion <laughs> in the army. And they would go out and fight, fight the enemy. They would go out on a limb, they would test the waters, see what was happening. Maybe the clue is making waves. Well, I don't know. When you talk about the avant-garde, you're talking about uh, sort of in terms of fine art, you're talking about just sort of novelty. This is my own art TV cookie jar. I travel around the country seeking for the meaning of the avant-garde. My definition of avant-garde would be um far out, um, different than from what we would normally term art. It's not conventional art. It's different. I went to the university art department and I asked the professor. So you just, you know, be a little bit patient. As soon as he gets off the phone, we're going to ask the first question about uh, uh, art and the uh, avant-garde. What do you think the avant-garde is today? What I think of avant-garde is today? Yeah. Uh, well, I wish I had been prepared to, <laughs> to answer that question. Uh, for me, uh, I guess the avant-garde is uh, exactly what it has always been, and that's uh, those artists who are in the, in the forefront of doing things that are experimental, doing things that are against the uh, fashion of the day, against this dream of uh, what the majority of people are involved in. Um, in that concept, probably, uh, right now, to be avant-garde will be doing very realistic, very traditional paintings. No, I, I've never seen, I've, I guess I've never identified the avant-garde with realistic, traditional paintings because I've never conceived of them as being experimental uh, within the nature of, say, what I would think now as the avant-garde would still be, uh, the variety of uh, performing artists that though uh, that's almost become accepted to the point that uh, we're putting those in the major museums. But I think within the area of performance, within the area of video, there is still so much to be done in bringing together all of the uh, artistic experiences that I would still consider that to be where I would find some of the avant-garde people. Sometimes while I was searching, I could not have a color camera, so I went black and white. Avant-garde is a perspective at looking at uh, the environment around people. So it's, it's a, a different way of looking at the environment through uh, an artist's eyes. Do you think artists, by their own nature, are always avant-garde? I think in, in my own definition of, of avant-garde that I just gave you, yes, it would have to be. Um, I think avant-garde means different things to different people, and the more knowledgeable you get about avant-garde, the more defined you get about avant-garde. I ask people on the street what they think about the avant-garde. Do you know what avant-garde is? I have a, a, <laughs> a feel for what it is. I don't know if I could put it into words. Can you try a little bit? 
why don't you give me your definition and I'll see if I agree with it. <laughs> well, you know, some people, avant-garde is something that uh, is different or is something that may be hard to understand or maybe something that uh, was not tried before or maybe that is something that is just uh, ridicule. I don't know about ridicule. Everything that's something a little bit different is subject to conversation. I don't know about ridicule. I mean, I think people like to see something that's different. Would you like to see something that is completely different? I'd love to see something that's completely different. Do you ever see something completely different on television? Oh, I think um, this year, a few times, I've caught a few special short um, film things that have come out of Canada. I know I've noticed a few things that I've really enjoyed. Um, a, a little short piece I really enjoyed was the Sandman that came in, you know, intermission between a movie on Cinemax once or something like that thrown in. Um, there was a real nice, nice graphic piece that was done one night, just accidentally turned on the TV and had seen it. Do you think this is what she saw? I finally went to a gallery and museum and see if they can help me. Can you tell us what you actually do in the museum? Uh, basically my duties are to um, make sure that no one touches the works of art and uh, mainly just see that uh, people behave themselves in the museum. Do you have a chance to really appreciate the work of art while you're working? Uh, yeah, I do. I think I could appreciate it a lot more if I knew a little bit more about, about art, but uh, yeah. What do you think about the, the avant-garde? What can you tell us about the avant-garde? I really can't tell you anything because I don't know what it is. I don't think I came up with a clear idea of the avant-garde. I am now more confused than ever before. I will continue walking with my camera, looking for the avant-garde.